Kakamega, Kilifi, Kirinyaga, Kisumu, Kitui and Laikipia have one case each. The number of coronavirus deaths in the country rose to 260 after 10 more patients succumbed to the virus. These factors of course for severe COVID disease are well known to us and this is now our own locally generated data with a combination of, of hypertension, diabetes accounting for 32% of the cases, hypertension alone accounting for 17% of the cases, diabetes on its own 15% of the cases, chronic lung disease and cancers each account for 10% and HIV accounts for 5% of the cases of severe COVID disease. 499 patients also recovered over a similar period, including 406 who were placed under the home-based care. The total recoveries reported since April 1st rose to 6,757. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health has launched the Kenya Essential Medicines List 2019 as an intervention in the fight against COVID-19 pandemic. The number of coronavirus cases in Nairobi and counties neighboring the metropolitan city is increasing. Health officials are warning this number is expected to even grow bigger if Kenyans in these areas continue to throw caution to the winds. Purity Museo Channel 1 News, Nairobi. Former Attorney General Professor Gedo Muigai has faulted the Ministry of Health for failing to adhere to his legal advice prior to the signing of the controversial 63 billion shilling managed equipment service. Gedo, who appeared before the Senate's ad hoc committee investigating the mega procurement, said the Ministry of Health also refused to furnish his office with a final contract for review. The managed equipment service program has come under extensive scrutiny, with governors alleging that the program is a waste of public funds and a scheme to defraud the public. The ghost of the managed equipment services has come back to haunt former Health Cabinet Secretary James Mesharia and PS Khadija Kasachon. On Wednesday, former Attorney General Kedu Mwigai accused the two of executing the 63 billion shilling contract without the blessing of the state law office. When they come here, I'm sure, Senator, you want to ask them, the AG told you that after the pre-contract, when you negotiate the final contract, you send it back to him for review. Did you send it back to him? Gidu told senators that the Ministry of Health refused to present him with a contract despite his numerous requests to have him review the deal. The former Attorney General was, however, taken to task to explain how his office allowed the alleged illegality to take place. The AG is not...